head on over to MrMuckCoin.com. Link is in the description. And make sure you use code GS80 to purchase 1 million coins for $80 even. And also tax is included. So you will receive 1 million coins even after purchase. And also, if you happen to have a PS4 and you played last year, check your accounts because they are also purchasing Madden 18 coins for the PS4. Hit me up on Twitter if you have PS4 coins for Madden 18. We'll set you in the right direction so you can go on ahead and get you some money on a game you're never going to play again. Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We meet again. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. Me, not so good. I'm definitely not feeling the best. But, you know, little by little, uh, this is like one day I feel like I'm getting better. The next day, it's just taken away from me in the blink of an eye. And I'm back to just feeling absolutely uh horrible but as you guys can see from the title we got some things to talk about so if you guys seen the video a few days ago saying that there was a, a drama in the madden community which a lot of you probably you know uh would not have known <clears throat> but you know there is a, a squats community out there and that said community had a, a very big issue with uh, Country Girl becoming captain for the Friday Night Football Mutthead Tournament. And all the details uh, are in that video. If you guys want to, you know, just back up and check that video out. I'm going to try to link it in the description if I remember. But um, definitely check out that video so you can just understand what the whole issue uh, was about. And um, things have, have turned. And I believe they've turned for the good. Now... I would like to consider myself part of, you know, the squads community, the head-to-head -head community. Uh, I know everyone, right? I, you know, try to touch base with all the communities because at the end of the day, Madden brings us all together. This game has changed my life, and I'm forever thankful. And, you know, the people that, you know, truly compete in this game or try to make it as a streamer or already a streamer or a YouTuber or something like that, like, you know, these are my uh you know it's like we're all a family here right uh, whether you hate it or hate me or love me or at the end of the day uh the, the the same basis remains that madden brings us all together and we all enjoy playing madden even if you hate this game madden uh <laughs> this version of madden uh you still enjoy uh madden overall and we all play it so you know i you know i've always been the type of person to want the best for uh everyone like i'm not gonna sit here and you know not want something good for someone because that that's just not you know how i am i've never been like that uh even back when i first started grinding madden and i had about six four five thousand subs and at the time that was something <laughs> you know at the time that was you know good because there wasn't that many um madden youtubers out there only like duke tequila um uh, Hurricane, uh, Koopa, there was only a handful of people with more subscribers than me. I was, I was getting up there and I remember IMAV sent me a message saying, Hey, you know, we should collab together. Now I know it doesn't benefit you whatsoever. He didn't have, he probably had like 800 subscribers, a thousand. He didn't have much. Right. And, um, he sent me a message saying, listen, this, like, it doesn't benefit you. Like I cannot help you whatsoever. You know, you collabing with me only helps me because you will be sharing your viewers with me. And I went to his channel, I seen his video, and I was amazed. And you know, I can't sit here and not help someone because I knew he was gonna be an absolute phenomenal superstar. I knew it then, when I first seen his video, I was, I enjoyed it, I laughed, I was like, wow, this dude is, he's incredible. He is absolutely incredible. Now, I could have sat there and been selfish, like, you know what, he's technically, you know, someone who uh, can take viewers away from me. He's someone that can end up taking money away from me. He's someone that can, you know, hurt my viewership because he's that good to where I don't want to share viewers with him because, you know, they might not come back to me. They, they just might enjoy him and I'm going to lose out. You know, I don't benefit this whatsoever, but I'm not like that. He's He was a, a, an absolute superstar in the making and I knew it back then. So, of course, you know, of my heart, I'm, I'm going to help him. 
you know, because I that it's, it's the right thing to do. And um, I try my best to get along with everyone. I don't like having any enemies. I don't like having people, you know, on my bad side. You know, um, I, I try my best to live in a world where everyone can get along. You know, it doesn't matter. I try my best to truly get along with everyone and help anyone out that, um, you know, uh, generally, genuinely, uh, you know, needs it and not just after it, like, you know, try to use me. But, you know, we become cool and I, and I feel like, you know, you're, you're genuine and I'm able to help you. I'm not going to think twice about it. And, um, you know, I've just always, always, always been that way. You know, if I can help you, I will and I won't hesitate. Uh, so, you know, I, I find myself, you know, I dabble part of the, you know, all in, out of the community squads and head to head and stuff like that. You know, uh, mainly I play head to head for my channel, but, you know, on stream or, you know, for fun, I play a lot of squads and I played a ton this year. And, um, you know, so I'm, I'm you know, I'm in there. I'm, I'm tapping feet in both sides of the community, right? Like if you ask any squads person about me, they know me. They've either played against me or they played with me. You ask any head-to-head -head player that plays often, they've either uh, played against me or, uh, you know, have seen me play or know of me because I'm out there, you know, tap dancing in, in both, you know, both realms out there. And um, anyways, let's let, let's get to the, the the moral of the story here of, of the the thank you. We're, we're uh, you're welcome, squads community. So even though there was a lot of hatred towards Country Girl for becoming a game changer, well, well, she got a lot of hatred for becoming a game changer uh, back in Madden 18. But a lot of hatred for her becoming captain. She did very well. Uh, they won the first round of the tournament. Her, Matt Block, and Mikey B. And um, a lot of a lot of respect to uh, Matt Block. Like. It was a very uh, depressing moment for uh, country when we found out that there was, you know, a lot of people <clears throat> sending hatred or not wanting her to be chosen or, you know, saying she wasn't good enough and she doesn't deserve it and things like that. But, you know, Mad Block was, was you know, one of the few people, you know, very excited and um, <clears throat> without hesitation, you know, wanted to play with her. And it, it's, you know, stuff like that, you know, um, it, it won't be forgotten because that's just genuine love. And I love to see people wanting other people to succeed and wanting other people to get better. And uh, a lot of love for Mikey B and Mad Block because, you know, um, they probably, you know, Mad Block, no, because Mad Block is in very deep in the squads community and actually now is starting to become a, you know, weekend league player. And he's very, very, very good. Even though we, we matched up one time in the weekend league. Mad Block knows what happened. He knows what happened at the outcome of that game. Now, but Frodo, um, you know, uh, he's a very, very dedicated streamer. And it, it was just, you know, nice to see that um, he genuinely wants, he, he like, he was happy for her, you know. And there that, that wasn't the theme going around, you know. But um, so they were in the, you know, she got brought back into the Discord um, afterwards, after the tournament, all that went down, and they were throwing a lot of ideas around on what they can do. Uh, Banks, who won the tournament, and you can tell the type of girl that I'm dealing with. Where um, I remember after the tournament lost, uh, we drove to go get something to eat, and she was just, you know, they lost off of a inside seam uh, ad catch in the end zone with like 25 seconds remaining. Good game, good game. They played very good, and Banks just, you know, had a clutch drive. Banks does what Banks does. You know, he's, he's one of the top OCs in the community. And um, they ended up winning the game, and she was just crushed because she really wanted that game. And she just wanted so bad because she really, really, really wants people to stop doubting her skills at the game. You know, they just see her, and, they, you know, no one thinks she's that good. And you know, she's improved a lot. You know, she went from specifically a D-line user to now actually using uh, a side of the field, actually, you know, shutting stuff down and actually wanting me to teach her offense and defense. You know, she no longer just wants to be known as that entertainment streamer that's just on the D-line to have fun. She wants to be known as uh, that entertainment streamer that's going to have a lot of fun, but also can run offense, can run defense. You know, she's really, really, really trying her best and wanting to learn and truly get better at the game. And, you know, she was devastated. You know, uh, she was she just kept thinking the things that she could have done differently in that game and, you know, how they lost and all that. And I remember asking her a question, you know, um, do you want Banks to win the tournament? And very selfishly, 
she could have just said no. Like, I don't want him to win. Like, no, I don't want him to win. I hope he loses. Like, you know, we lost to him, and I don't, I don't want him to win. Like, but for the better of the squad's community, she said, I hope he wins because it's a good look on us. It's a good look on the squad's people. It's a good look on the community for a squad's homegrown person to come through and win the tournament against these, you know, pro players that we're choosing. Like, we need this. We, we're rooting for him. We need him to win. And as soon as he won, you see me. You see Country Girl. Nice congratulatory, congratulatory, congrats. Thank you <laughs> on Twitter um, because it's well-deserved. He put the community on his back. He showed out. He delivered, and he did a very good thing. So Banks was added to the Discord, and now instead of, you know, random people were chosen. Now, do understand that the numbers were out there that the, the the decrease in viewership is at 30 to 40 percent when they do a squads friday night mudhead tournament compared to a head-to-head -head, right so viewership is is lower so they're just thinking of ways how can we increase this right like we really want to get squads out there what can we do to truly make this a better atmosphere for the community to be more involved for the viewerships to enjoy it more and you have banks and you have tiffany the forefront of the community being out there saying you know what we really need the better squad players out there like yeah they're not names out there we understand that we understand that uh you know not too many people may not know who mad block is but you put him out there he's gonna play at such a great level and he's gonna put such an amazing uh display out there on, on on the field that he's whoever decides to watch they're gonna know who he is after like we need the top players out there so now it's in anyone can enter tournament they can bring their own team in because there were specific players that did not want to play with tiffany because they wanted to quote unquote play with their team now because of Tiffany's recommendation, because of Banks putting you guys out there, and you know, uh, they she she could have been salty. She could have you know uh, you know tried to not have this, but of course she's going on ahead and she's suggesting this is what we do, and Banks is saying this is what we do, and both of them are working together to get the squads community in there, and now anyone can enter the tournament and play Friday night football on Mudhead for a chance to win a big cash prize. You're welcome. You're welcome. All the hatred that was sent towards her, all of the 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 very disappointing uh, remarks about her, all of the just disrespectful things that were said. She still had you guys in mind. She still put you guys out there, and she never turned her back on the community. And now. You guys can play with your own team. Get your name out there. And who knows, this can possibly literally become an eSport. And if it does, this can truly be a life-changing experience for the better players of the squad's community. You're welcome. No one's going to thank her. No one's going to say, listen. My bad for, you know, just showing a, some hatred towards you and saying you don't deserve it. I truly appreciate you looking out for us. And now me and my boys can go out there and, and play. Like, I appreciate it. Thank you. No one's going to say that. No one's going to reach out to her and, and say thank you because they're, they truly believe that she's that she probably had nothing to do with this. They truly believe that Banks isn't out there trying his damnedest hardest knowing that if he gets other top players out there, it's going to be more difficult for him to win. But does he care about that? No. He cares about the community. He cares about his friends making it. He cares about if he can't win it, he wants his friends to make it. Tiffany cares about, I'm probably never going to play in this ever again. But I want the community to be out there. I want them to shine. I want them to win money. I want them to change their lives from squads. No one's going to say it. But I'll say it for you. Banks, Tiffany thank you i also forgot to mention that if you guys are interested in bringing your squats to have an opportunity to play in a uh you know tournament to be able to participate in friday night football mudhead tournament go to a uh, country girl's twitter account and it is her pinned tweet you sign up you have an opportunity to challenge and from there if you are successful you will be playing to friday night football mudhead